For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and let's take another look at those first hour trades, this time in the form of one of the scalper setups. This is Biomarin Pharmaceutical Incorporated, ticker symbol BMRN, and it was on the Around the Horn NASDAQ Scalper Trading Service for July 3rd, 2014. Now, this one is a relatively straightforward and simple entry, and I just want to go over a couple of things here to reinforce what we've already talked about in terms of how to handle the scalper trades. First thing we see is that this is a long setup, and our primary entry is going to be 64.36 with an initial target up at 64.79. Then we have another entry possibility down at 64.14 with a target at 64.36, and another entry at 63.83 with a 64.14 target. All of those are possibilities for the trading day. And what you need to do when you set these up is draw the lines on your charts for each one of the levels. Have the uh, trading plan in front of you so you know what, uh, what it is that you're going to do for each and every one of the setups. And then look at your level 2 screens and see what the spread looks like. So if you're going to first hour trade the scalper setups, there are definitely going to be days you're not going to be taking any trades. And that's because the spreads can get really wide right around the open. So if you're looking at a $65 stock like this and it's got a $0.20 cent spread, and let's say you hit that 64.36 entry line, the only way you want to take that trade is if you can actually get filled at 64.36. And that usually means you're going to be attempting to take the spread rather than give it. So it'll probably be a 64.36 by 64.55 market. Other mornings, we have nice orderly trading like we did today, and that bid-ask differential doesn't wind up being such a consideration. So let's take a look at how this one played out over the course of the session. Here's the five-minute chart of Biomarin. Again, this ticker symbol BMRN if you want to pull it up in your own charting software. And we see that the stock opened right around that 64.79 target line and then did a little bit of oscillating, reversed, and moved lower. Now, you don't want to pick this up on its way down, obviously, so you don't want to have resting stops here to enter these trades. So 64.36 is not your entry until you see either a pullback or a double header setup. So you either want to see a switch hitter or a double header kind of a trading pattern. And that's exactly what we have here right at this 950 bar. Gets down, hits the 6383 line. That's not an entry, right? We didn't come up through it. It just touched it and reversed. We get this nice, clean switch hitter setup. So if you want to look in uh, Around the Horn, a trader's guide to consistently scoring in the markets or at the uh, module in the Income Trading Academy or the uh, boot camp videos, then you'll see you know what a switch hitter setup looks like. But in this case, what we're really looking for is this thing that looks like a check mark and as it rises up and hits that 64.14 entry line, we are going to take the position and target 64.36. Once we get up through 64.36 and it reverses back down again, we've got another entry opportunity as it breaks higher from 64.24. And even though this was overhead resistance on the first trade, we're going to look for this to make the move all the way up into 64.79. So that's how the bands work. It's very straightforward, and that represents a first hour set of trades in BMRN. 22 cents on the first entry, 43 cents the second time around. That's 65 cents a share, and depending on how many shares you're trading, of course, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's today's video on how to use the scalper trading plan. Check back here frequently because I try to post these each and every day. If you have any questions, send me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you had a great trading day. Have a great 4th of July weekend, and have a good trading day on Monday.